Bokeh Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Yet another breaking story coming out just a couple hours old here. Tyler Durden reporting this only seven hours ago. Probably the United States does not even is not even aware of what's going on. But let's just look real quick right here. Uh, th there's a draft form of uh, Bundeswehr reporting, declaring Russia to be an enemy nation. That's Germany, guys, is declaring that Russia is an enemy nation. You're going to see this start to break, uh, I'm sure, today all over the globe. There is a massive buildup of troops in Poland. They are trying to tell people in the European Union that Russia is about ready to attack Poland. I do not believe it for a second. I really don't. I, you know, guys, I love America with all my heart. That is my home country. But I believe that Russia has been provoked into a situation that's leaving them pretty much no hope at all. We see that the United States failed coup to topple Erdogan, which I am definitely not an Erdogan supporter either, by no means, but the U.S. tried to do a coup. Of course, Erdogan is accusing them of that. It seems kind of a little odd, though, that the U.S. Uh, claims that they're not part of it when they're the ones harboring the very guy that masterminded the whole plot. Uh, nonetheless, I can see that the U.S. probably wanted to topple Erdogan because he is trying to turn himself into a dictator. He is nothing but you murdered the Kurdish citizens, but then again, the United States has allowed this to happen when they should have stepped in earlier, but perhaps the U.S. was trying to organize the coup the entire time in order to get him out of power, maybe to protect the Kurds. Who knows what the case is? It is a volatile situation because the U.S. base there has huge arsenal of, of, of nuclear weapons, uh, but now Erdogan has Brought, got, got a closer tie with Russia. And according to the latest news in Turkey, they're saying that the very plane that shot down the, uh, the, the Su-24, Su-24 uh, uh, German bomber was actually done by one of the coup backers. So now they're blaming it on the United States that shot down the Russian plane. Even back then, we knew that the United States was there with them. There's something going on about this, but Erdogan should have come out and said something a little sooner. It's all kind of Odd how things are happening, but let's get back into this real quick. According to Tyler here in the report he's bringing out, he says, Paul Craig Roberts warns Armageddon approaches after the German leak. Uh, says the Western public doesn't know it, but Washington and its European vassals are convincing Russia that they are preparing to attack. Eric Zeus reports on a German newspaper leak of uh, Bundwehr decision to declare Russia to be an enemy nation of Germany. That is that is insane, guys. Insane. And guys, we're going to Poland here. We're going. We'll be covering Pope Francis' trip there uh, because he's going there to the uh, also to the Holocaust, Auschwitz, and Buchenau, right there together. The two concentration camps together there. That's just really disheartening to us because we know that that uh, Pope Pius XII, as much as they want to hide it, he still was majorly involved with Hitler. Uh, and uh, though they try to, you know, keep that under wraps, still the Pope is going there to show the support of the Catholic Church for the Jewish people, as well as speaking to the Youth Day. Now, Poland is still kind of on lockdown, guys, because of all the NATO troops that are moving into there. This causing a destabilization of the entire region because this is something that's not supposed to be happening. And then people are wanting to blame Russia. I, and I'm not a, a, a Putin backer. I mean... I, I, I have to back what I believe is true. I have watched this news. I've watched the things unfold. I've monitored Russian. I've monitored the United States news. I've monitored European news. Monitored multiple languages, Russian, Czech, uh, all these different languages. Even a precious sister we have here in Europe sends us the news that goes on in, uh, um, uh, gosh, in Germany and places like that that she speaks German. We're, we're looking at everything from every direction. It is obvious Russia's being thrown under the bus. They really have just taken and thrown the president, President Putin, under the bus and made it look like he's the bad guy when it's a fact. Obama admits it in his own speech recently that they were the ones that helped overthrow Ukraine and put in the new government. And then they want to blame it on Putin because he's there to try to protect Russian lives. I think Putin is trying to stop a genocide like what we had with Hitler during Germany. But this time it's Russian citizens. I mean, what's going on, guys? I mean, this is really getting serious. And then Germany is not wanting to call 
uh, all these terrorist attacks that are happening in their country, terrorism, when ISIS swore that they were going to send in amongst the refugees. I mean, how can you say it's not terrorist when you say the police authorities say there's no links to terrorist ties here uh, uh, with these people are coming in? How do they know? They never checked any of the people when they came in in the first place. You know, you, you, people got to wake up what's going on. Uh, oh my gosh, guys. Washington might intend uh, the military build up as pressure on President Putin to, to reduce Russian opposition to Washington's unilateralism. However, it reminds some outspoken Russians, such as Vladimir uh, Zanavsky, of Hitler's troops on Russia's border in 1941. You know, Russia's got a right to feel threatened. Have you ever looked at a map? Let me, let me just try to give it to you real quick. Let's take and let's look it up, okay? Uh, NATO forces map bordering Russia, okay? No time to even uh, do anything about it. Let's just take a look at this here. Um, that's not a good map right there. Let's just, let's just see what we have here. Uh, I want to get, here we go, here we go, right here. Okay, so you can see all, everywhere around there, Ru Russia is, is surrounded by military troops. That's what you see here. Uh, they have them in Poland, Romania, Turkey, Mediterranean Sea, uh, the UK. Uh, th this is not even a good, good one here. I mean, it's, it, you have to really go to look at all this. There is, an, I've, I've found maps before just to give you an idea of how much Russia is surrounded by uh, military troops all over their border. It's, it's unbelievable, guys. I, I did, I did a, of course, I had to do a little searching one time before in order to find this because I was doing a report on it. But it was enormous, the buildup of troops and bases. Here we go. Here's the one that I'm thinking about right here. All right, here we go, guys. We have got the map here. This, the little stars are NATO troops, right? Here's Russia, and all the way around. Of course, they're all over here. You got Japan. Uh, I don't know exactly what that would be there. It looks like New Zealand right there. Uh, south of China there, you have NATO troops there. Uh, all through here, Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, up into here. Even a NATO base right up in here. Gosh, I don't even know what country that is because it's not clear on here. Uh, the, the name there, I can't quite make it out there. Uh, all through here, all through the Middle East, all in these areas here. Russia is completely surrounded by NATO troops and they're worried about Russia attacking. I mean, and, and they're not even showing you all the, all the places anymore. Now, uh, Ukraine, you have NATO forces in Ukraine now. Poland, you have, you have NATO forces. Well, no, I think Poland's right here, there. Uh, I think that's Belarusia right there. I can't, like I said, I can't see it on the map very well because it's too blurry for me anyway. But the thing is, is Russia is totally surrounded. I mean, what do you do when you're surrounded? You just throw your hands and give up or what? Uh, and now Germany, of all places, Germany. And they don't even show it. That's France right there, Germany. You have the huge NATO flag right there. They are calling Russia an enemy now? My God, I mean, what, what, what is the president of Russia supposed to do? Well, I mean, what has the man done? You know, I mean, some people might say, oh, gosh, Steve, you know, you got to support America. I, I support America. Put Donald Trump in there. You know what? You know what I thought about? I know that the people have always said Donald uh, or Trump and Pence. You have trumpets. OK, like the trumpets are sounding. But you know what I think the trumpets are warning you about? Because you got Cain over there. Remember Cain that killed his brother Abel? Cain is a murderer to begin with. You know, now. When I heard, first heard about Pence, I heard that he was a Catholic and he had, he had become a born-again Catholic. And first, I didn't like it too well because I heard the fact that he was Catholic. You know, one person wrote me and said, you know, Brother Steve, Paul, Brother Begley says he's a good man. Okay, maybe he is. All right, and, and so I don't want to throw him under the bus. Maybe it's not right to throw him under the bus too, too close yet. But then I find out that Cain, that Hillary's running mate, is a dyed-in-the-wool Jesuit that she has chosen Catholic. No, no backing down, no born again, no nothing, just a flat out Jesuit guy right there. And so if you have trumpets and they're warning about Cain, 
What's, what did Cain do? If you remember, right, according to biblical history, not saying that this Cain here is that guy. I don't, want to, I don't want to throw him under the bus like that, but he's definitely working for the mother whore down there, the Catholic Church there. And what did they do? They killed their, he kills his brother Abel. And that's about what's going to happen. So as Putin said, if Hillary becomes president, he knows he's going to war with the United States. And I'm afraid that the trumpets is trying to warn you about Cain. But unfortunately, what's going to happen is Abel's going to be killed. And he's not going to have a voice to speak. If, if Donald Trump and Pence were to become president, we probably would have this situation with Russia settle down. They'd probably get some sense into Germany because right now Merkel is under such the influence of the, of, of the Obama administration that they just do whatever they want them to say. And so now they've declared Russia an enemy. This is insane. We are on the verge of biblical fulfillment without a doubt. I'm Stephen Banu, and you're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom. When, as I said earlier in an earlier broadcast, it's, it's not shalom, okay? But if we anachnu amrim, ain't shalom. In Hebrew, we would say, there is no peace. And that's the truth. Zakiyah that is the truth.